I mean, my mom was like that. She used to like cut off the fungus from like a tomato and like try and use it and we'd be like, no, just turning into my mom. It's casual, it's fine. Hi, my name is Zainab. I'm a recipe developer, writer, and food enthusiast based in Long Island, New York, and this is my fridge story. For my TikTok, I like to do American classics. My most watched TikTok is a recipe for carrot cake and cream cheese frosting. It has olive oil in it, so it's definitely a bit different. I think when you open my fridge, it's like organized chaos. So like everything has a place and like there's departments, I guess, to my fridge, but also like things are all over the place. More than I realized before, top shelf is usually things that I can't fit anywhere else and leftovers. I have these two shelf things, um, one's for bread, one's for like breakfast spreads, I guess. Third shelf is usually produce. Fourth shelf, drinks and cheese mostly. Where I guess the eggs are supposed to go, there's a lot of chocolate. One is this kale salad and I make it like at least once a week. It's always in my fridge. It's like perfect in my opinion. There's capers in it, so it's like super salty. The kale gets massaged. You put in like hot roasted chickpeas into the kale so it almost wilts. It's beautiful, stunning. Um, and then the other thing, my sister-in-law's friend gave us these candies. They're like Persian fruit candies and basic, they're called Lava Shock. They're a little bit chewy. They're slightly acidic, which I really like, and salty and just fruity. They're so good. I probably drink my iced coffee the most. That like comes out twice a day and like I repurchase it incessantly. It's my favorite, it's perfectly sweetened. I also feel like not enough people drink it. I have this every night before I go to bed. It's this Who Salty Dark Chocolate and it's very salty. I have this with like tea with a splash of milk at night and it's like perfect. Oh, so many, okay, I love Red Hot. Red Hot is perfectly acidic. This on Cape Cod kettle cooked potato chips or any kettle cooked potato chips is so good. Cholula, I really like as well. I grew up eating this. It's a chili ginger pickle. It's super spicy, but really good. I, I'll like spread it on some bread before I put like an egg with like cheese on it. Just like a lot of hot sauce, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight hot sauces. Oh wait, I missed one. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Strangest items. I mean, strange to who? These are curry leaves, which I use a lot in Indian cooking. I really love them. I always have like a half used can of sweetened condensed milk that I like put into a jar. Sometimes I just like will dip a spoon in there and it's like better than ice cream. Anything else? Oh, this is my like homemade chili crisp chili oil. I keep it in a bowl just because the oil is like always leaking and I don't want that all over my fridge. I love capers. I use them as often as possible. They're great in, well, that's just because I feel like people don't use salt enough in their cooking and capers are essentially just salt. Um, I use them in the salad. I use them in pasta sauces. I use them all the time. I love salty briny things so, like pickles, olives, capers. I really wish they were used more often. So the freezer, this is like my black hole. I actually don't know what half this stuff is just because I probably put it in here so long ago. There's Mexican cheese in here. There's some frozen fruit, hot dogs, <laughs> ice cream. These mini drumsticks, which I thought I was gonna like more than I actually do like them. There's puff pastry sheets, just because you never know. I eat halal. Uh, meat only so there's a lot of halal meat in my freezer just because it's annoying to get so like I can't order it every time I go to the grocery store I have to make a specific trip so I like to stock up some ground beef some chicken tenders I'm, like so scared it's like literally a volcano waiting to erupt I hate food waste so like if I see something going bad in the fridge I'll like put it into the freezer and never look at it again but it just makes me feel good that like I haven't thrown it out arugula and spinach mix that I told myself I would use in a soup that I haven't made. This bread is probably freezer burned. There's some ice crystal action there. I should probably throw it out. Maybe like 35 to 40 times. Is that normal? How often do you open your fridge? I have this and I don't use it. It's liquid smoke. There's this dish that basically in my culture, it's called kukupaka. It's made with charcoal grilled 
chicken and like here I just make it in the broiler. So I thought by adding this to the marinade, it might like impart a similar flavor. It didn't. Yeah, there's not a lot of fruit in here right now, which is um, unusual. I wish there was a mango in here specifically. Oh, I just found something fancy for you. It's preserved lemons. In Moroccan food, they use preserved lemons a lot. So I was really like expecting it to be something that I could only use for Moroccan food. But then I found a recipe on Food 52 lemon bars using the pre preserved lemons and they were insane because they're a little bit salty. It was like the perfect lemon bar. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more recipes with preserved lemons. Um, this arugula is on its last leg. I don't, mm, let's see actually, is it even good? Not good. I will have to throw this out. In fact, I'm just gonna leave it on the counter. <laughs> So I don't drink and I found myself in Essex Market and there's this um, little stall in the market where she sells like vegan cheeses and non-alcoholic alcohol. So we stopped by, cause I've never tried tequila and I'm always like very, the reaction, you know, like when you see people try it, they're just like, Ugh. and this actually has like gave me the exact same reaction. It's extremely peppery. So I try to keep it pretty clean. Um, I like to make small portions so that I don't have like a bunch of um, leftovers. This is definitely more than usual, but because of Ramadan, like you get sent a lot of food, you're cooking a lot, there's a lot of leftovers. But honestly, I don't really like do fridge cleanouts um, because of like how fast things move here. No, I didn't, but we can definitely find something worth hiding. Um, Okay, back here, a tomato in a jar. Oh, that's not bad. I thought this would for sure have some fungus action, but it doesn't. Oh, but this does. Some limes. I'll get rid of that now. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll do the Cape Cod chips and Red Hot. Um, I also don't have that many chips left because I eat this so often. My uncle used to make it. I posted a TikTok about it and um, I realized I'm not the only one who eats it, but it's also something a lot of people haven't tried. So yeah, I go heavy on the red hop. It's so good. It's just like crispy, salty, like everything you need for an addictive snack, you know? Thanks so much for watching my fridge story. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe to This Fruits Eats. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Zainab underscore Issa.